And I'm with this guy. Check him out. Hey. This is his second time down here to the river today, and uh, we just brought in big loads of morale. Jared, what'd you bring? Um, a lot of zebra cake. <laughs> Literally little Debbies. <laughs> of all things, they're bringing little Debbies. They, I took a picture. It's a lot. They asked for little Debbies uh, zebra cakes three times, so we brought them about... 50 boxes. Well, apparently down here in this part of the county, the locals and the good old boys that are working, there's no cigarettes. And they said, can you get some cigarettes? Like, yeah, I can get some cigarettes. We're going on an adventure. Check it out. A big shazam to each of y'all. Holy smokes. I went on an adventure yesterday. You're going to love it. At the end, I'm going to show you some great footage. Uh, a lot of it's tough and very sad, very difficult, but we also had a great day and spirits were high down on the river. I'm going to do an update on four different things today, and these are projects that you people are allowing us to do. It really is amazing, so buckle up. Should be fun. This adventure is brought to you by TriStar Trading. Holy smokes, the Woobies are in. Four different colors are available I'm wearing the new Desert Tiger Stripe, and when they're gone, they are gone. Get yours. Holy smokes, you're going to love them. Warm for winter. They zip up with the hood. Super compactable for traveling. It's the Woobies. I'm wearing mine all day today. You people, thanks for every thumbs up. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, a few updates. All of that kitchen stuff from last week that was stolen by the sheriff. My understanding, I will have more information by tonight about dark when the guys get back from Mountain City. But my understanding as of today is everything is cool. My understanding is that lady, Miss Linda, she is back up and running. The sheriff is uh, in, in the right, been put in the right place. Everything's fine. My understanding, all good news from up there. Number two, Jared's been uh, promoting a thing about the Carter County Sheriff's Office being a bunch of uh, a bunch of uh, deal weeds, and uh, you can check him out for that. But he's been co covering that. But it's not just in Johnson County, Mountain City. It's also in Carter County. A lot of bull crap. A lot of bull crap. Number three, all right, y'all have allowed Logan and his team to go out and do all sorts of stuff. Here's some footage from this week. He's been cutting these. Uh, I think he called them white oaks down. But holy crap. He has been doing stuff with the poplars and the oaks and the cherries, and it's been a mess. Check him out. How cool is that? So he is out there. I went over and met with him last night just briefly at a, in a grocery store parking lot in Boone's Creek. And uh, he's good. Spirits are up. Things are good. The equipment is good. Uh, got gas levels high. And so you all are allowing him, him and his team. They're going to definitely be working all this week. And we're going to meet on Friday and kind of do an assessment where we're at with money and all of that stuff. The The fundraiser is still open if you want to throw in. I think we're at 26000 And uh, it's been really, really cool. Really cool. Now, because of that fundraiser, we wanted three. That was the goal, kind of the goal. One of three. We're at twenty six now. We've been able to do a lot more stuff. A friend of mine hollered at me a uh, day before yesterday on Sunday and said he'd been talking to some guys at his church that ran heavy equipment and just threw it out there. And I said, dude, we, we would love to buy some diesel. These guys are heavy, professional heavy equipment operators, and they're out there on their own nickel helping out people. So we were able to buy some diesel fuel for them yesterday. Here's some pics where they were, what they were doing. I think they did that Saturday, but they're out all week again this week. We're a part. We're a part of that. That's really, really cool. Boss Lady and I were out today for lunch, and it's interesting. We go to, we go into lunch a little 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 hole in the wall a mile away from here at TriStar, and we come out. A gentleman pulls up in a truck. It's got mud on. I saw that mud, and I'm like, I know where that mud's from. I know where that mud's from. And he, we kind of got talking to him. He said, we we're looking for a laundry mat, and uh, she said, well, where are you guys from? And he said, well, we're from Bumpus Cove. And I went, holy crap, Bumpus Cove, remember that name. And so we talked for a minute, and uh, they'd lost, he's, she said, uh, how bad were you guys hit personally? He said, bad, really bad. And uh, elderly guy, elderly guy, his elderly wife was in the truck, and uh, I, I ran over to the car, got in the glove box, and I got a little bit of money, nothing crazy, but a little bit. And she whispered to me, she goes, I was thinking the same thing. So we were able to hand him a small gift, and it's awesome, you people. Thank you. That was amazing. And I walked away from that, and I, I had to think about something else. I'm like, no, nope, we got to keep going. From Bumpus Cove, holy smokes. That's a long way away from here. 
All right, here's the big one. Yesterday, y'all remember on Friday? Remember on Friday we had that awesome call where uh, Grindstone Ministries hollered at us and said, "Hey, we need some morale for the guys. Can you get some some caffeine, some tobacco, and get some 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 booze, some beer?" And I went, uh, <laughs> "Yeah, I can do that. That's the easiest thing ever for me." Apparently, it was a huge hit with all the workers on their day off. They hollered yesterday morning and said, we need a refill on morale supplies. And it makes sense to me. I went down there yesterday, and this is a, the reports from all over the counties, Green and Washington, Unicoi and Johnson, in that the, the places where they're, they're putting all the stuff, all of the places, the, the different locations are stacked to the roof with diapers and feminine products, food and water and blankets, all of that stuff. They're not even taking donations at most places now. But the workers, the people that are down there, the people that might have a vice, I, the, my understanding, the locals that are in that area that Grindstone's working in, the local guys and gals that have a vice, they, they smoke cigarettes. That's welcome to East Tennessee and Appalachia. They are dying for their, their cigarettes bad. And they just hollered and they said, could y'all just throw in some, some cigarettes? And uh, yeah, happy to, happy to. It was an interesting day and I thought about it for a minute and I'm like, uh, yeah, happy to. If, if they're in the worst some of the people, people have lost everything. They, I don't care. If they have a vice, I, I'll buy a, a pack of Marlboro Reds. And <laughs> I went in, I went in yesterday to, to the discount cigarette store, the, those little, the little dive place. I've never been in there. And I walked in and the Indian guy said, hello, how can I help you? Excuse the Susie accent, but it only works with an accent. He said, how can I help you? And I said, hey, I'm trying to get some cigarettes for the working men. He said, working men. Uh, he said, do you want Paul Mall? <laughs> and I said, uh, what, what, would, what would the rednecks have? He said, rednecks? I said, yeah. He goes, Marlboro Red. And so just instantly, uh, he said, get the Marlboro Red. I bought a box of Marlboro Reds. So we went down with Grindstone, and we took another morale shipment. Jared, you saw at the beginning, uh, was, was along for the ride. He drove yesterday and took all, <laughs> all the little Debbies. Zebra cakes, right in my heart. So we go down and see Grindstone. They are running a machine down there. My opinion, solid, solid mach machine. Uh, their workers are having their morale boosted. We're helping those guys out. Got them, got them a lot of Red Bulls yesterday. And just glad to help them out. Really glad to help these folks out. And then uh, Bear, the cheese down there, said, uh, y'all want to go on an adventure? Yeah. We went to Bumpus Cove, the same place that the gentleman today was from. And I've fished up there for years. I know this area pretty well, but it's the sticks. As you're going to see here, it was hit very, very hard. It was horrific. It was very difficult. Um, but there's just things I don't want to talk about. There's some difficulties down there. There's some things in that community that's happened in the last week a after the tragedy, after the flood. Since then, there's been some more really difficult things that have gone on there that I'm not going to talk about. But at the same, in the same way, there was such good. We laughed. Uh, we, we talked to, to locals. We talked to a lot of guys that are down there working. These guys that you're going to see here that are working on the river, they're working on that road is gone. Like the whole road up Little Germany Road is gone in certain places. And there's big machines and they're working on it. And I asked Bear, I said, who are these guys? And he said, private citizens. It is an overwhelming outpouring of neighbors helping neighbors. This is a county road, and the government is nowhere to be seen. They're doing other things, and private people are in there trying to get this community help. The community was 60 people. It is down to 40 now in that they airlifted a lot out. There's no way in or out of there. you got to airlift them in or out. We were able to, to hike in there, as you saw that, but able to get in there. These guys headed in there, and somebody needed some water, and so they carried water in, but this family, of course, of course, the cat gave birth after the flood. And so they just said, Hey, if y'all have any cat litter, can we have some cat litter next time y'all come in? And some of the grindstone guys brought in cat litter for those, for those kittens. So, uh, morale is high, no power back there. There's nothing. And uh, they took in coffee for these folks and it was just really, really cool to see all of that to say mountain city. I think we're good. Carter County, not so much Logan crushing it. And uh, that adventure that we went on yesterday was, um, it was really neat. It was very difficult. It was dirty and just, and eye-opening is the right word. One of the challenges that we're in right now is that the news cycle is shifting. We're moving on down to the hurricane. Things are changing and we're gonna, the whole country is going to be talking about and working on and thinking about other things, yet the people down there are going to be out of power for three, four, five, some up to six months, estimated 
And so these needs aren't going to change. $26,000 we raised so far. That is awesome. And we've been able to, the bulk has gone to Logan and the Chainsaw Crew, but we've been able to do a few little other things. Thank you all. We are trying to work. There's three of us that are kind of overseeing this money, and we are trying to do it right and to be able to look you in the eye and say, we did our best. We did our best. We didn't waste any of it. So thank you all for the overflow. It's been awesome. Awesome. Really, really cool. I'll be back tomorrow with Hump Wednesday. See you then. This gun fits my hand better than this one does. Diabetes.